Hi, I'm Donna from the Pawpaw District Library. Today I'm going to show you how to empty the seeds out of a milkweed pod. If you have milkweed plants in your garden, good for you. It's so important for the monarchs to have milkweed because that is the only plant that they eat. So um, we want to spread those around as much as we can. So I've got a typical milkweed pod and I'm going to break it open along the seam like this. Now I hold on tight to this end because this is the end with all the fuzz and you don't want that fuzz all over the place. It sticks to your fingers. It can be a mess. So what I do is just with my thumbnail I just go down down like that and see I've gotten them all off. I go around and around and then I've just got the empty fuzzy part and I'll throw that back in a field. There might be some seeds left in it and that's fine. Um, Maybe they'll take root and grow some more plants. Here's one that's a little older. The seeds have turned brown already. But I can still save these seeds. You just have to be very careful about hanging on to the top of it because it's looser than the, uh, whiter, the whiter seeds that I have here. I can still save them by doing the same method, scraping. They come off very easily when they're already brown. And I'll put those in there. So I've only got about um, 50 more milkweed pods to do. I was lucky enough to get these, uh, a whole bag full of these seeds from a patron. So today is the day I'm going to empty all those pods out. I'll save them all in this container and then I'll put a lid on it and keep it over the winter. It's important that you keep this cold throughout the winter and then spread the seeds next spring. Or if you are just throwing these in a field somewhere, you can just throw them this fall and then they will winter over and possibly sprout next spring, hopefully. So we need all the milkweed seeds we can provide for the monarchs and um, grow some milkweed plants. I hope uh, if you have any milkweed, you save your seeds and plant them again next year.